The top 10 reasons that Latinos love Loy. And of course, these are not in any particular order except maybe alphabetical by issue because we know that every issue is equally important to all of us and to Lloyd Doggett. So starting with it, top reason number one, the arts. For as long as I have been, uh, was a board member and president of the Mexicarte Museum, uh, Lloyd has always been there for the art, supporting the cultural education of our community and our children. He's been a stalwart supporter of arts and culture here in Austin, and particularly in the Latino community. He's helped us get funding for our programs, and he's been there every step of the way, and continues to be there supporting us in helping us grow our programs to help educate our community about our arts and culture. So thank you, Lord. And to continue, hello, hello everyone. My name is Blanca Garcia. I'm a former chair of the Hispanic, of the Greater Austin Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. I'm also a small business owner. I own Casablanca Realty. And today, another great reason that Latinos support Lloyd is for his support for small businesses. For the last 17 years, Lloyd has been a, a great supporter of the Hispanic Chamber. But he has been at every event that we have. He, he, he gives us that ideas, he shares ideas with us, and he supports our initiatives. Lloyd not only does this for the Hispanic Chamber here in Austin, he does this for the San Marcos Chamber, Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and the Cabo County Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. So he's everywhere, he's always been there. And also, I'd like to say that he's a great friend to small business owners. He's an advocate for us, for me, for you, and for the Hispanic community. And for that reason, we need to support Lloyd Doggett. Small business owners, join me in supporting Lloyd. My name is Cynthia Perez and I used to work at Las Manitas. I support Lloyd Doggett because he's a true public servant, always putting his constituents first. He's not an opportunist, and because he's an amazing supporter of public education. And to that assessment, that is being decimated now, his two granddaughters are alumni of Escolita de Alma. My name is John Michael Cortez, and I have the pleasure of serving on the Board of Trustees of the Austin Community College District. And from my position on ACC, I see every day thousands of Latino families who are working hard to open the doors of prosperity for their family through higher education. And no other person in Congress has fought harder to make sure that our families have access to higher education than Congressman Lloyd Doggett. Just among his many accomplishments is the enhancement of the American Opportunity Tax Credit which is opening the door to thousands of families, thousands of our neighbors here in Central Texas, to higher education. So if you care about our families being able to meet their God-given potential through higher education, then you should care about making sure that Congressman Doggett continues to represent us. Yanis, and as Celia mentioned, some of us were very young when Lloyd Doggett first came into politics. I'm of that second generation of organizers, some of you know my dad, Daniel, and many of you know one of my uh, mentors, Susana Almanza, and I am with people organized in defense of Earth and Her Resources, or Poder. And uh, Lloyd Doggett knows from the early days when he was in the streets working with communities that uh, we can move mountains and that it's possible for low-income communities and communities of color to force out major transnational oil companies, which they did in East Austin, which those of you who know the history of Austin know that we have transformed the landscape and continue in the struggle to make sure that it's affordable for families to live in today. And so uh, in the end, when you talk to the, the people who have been around and the people who were raised in this movement, we know Lloyd Doggett and we know that we must continue to support him to protect our environment and protect affordable housing. Thank you. Hello, my name is Frank Rodriguez. I'm the drummer in the band. <laughs> now, I'm also treasurer of the Travis County Healthcare District, also known as Central Health. 
Uh, when the Affordable Health Care Act was being developed, it was Congressman Doggett that insisted that we have more than what was included. And because he drew the line in the sand, we got a lot more in that act. So we have to thank, we have him to thank for that. He's worked for the goal that every family should have access to a family doctor. And then finally, he's worked to ensure that big insurance companies treat families fairly and that affordable health care will be there for American families that need it the most. Congressman Doggett has single-handedly made a big difference in the health care of all Americans. We're proud to, to uh, call him our congressman. Leo, I've been a union member for 35 years. Lloyd Doggett has always supported labor unions and workers and not corporate America and millionaires, and that's the reason I, all of labor and workers should support Lloyd. Go Lloyd. And uh, they said to, uh, to talk about what equal opportunity means to me so you'll know what Lloyd's work means to all of us. And uh, my husband and I, Juan, have been involved with equal opportunity issues since we hit the streets in Austin. And he, in 61, me in 63, together with him. Uh, we have worked on fair housing, we have worked economic development, we have worked uh, minority business enterprise, wrote the two minority business ordinance, and God knows how many other ordinances, and every step of the way in terms of uh, equality and equal opportunity, uh, there has been a steadfast force uh, beside us, uh, and giving a hand and being a support system there for us, and that's with Lloyd Doggett. Uh, I ask you to support him for his great record as a progressive and equal opportunity and specifically we have the challenge of the DREAM Act where in 64, um, 2004, 2006 and 2009 Lloyd Doggett has been a co-sponsor of that bill which means so much to our community. Thank you very much. to say something very special uh, to, to many of us. Uh, the Limon family represents the best of, of our people and of our culture and of our heritage. Please help me welcome Johnny Limon. Hey, I just want to tell you something a little more personal. For Juan, my family and I are supporting Congressman Lloyd Doggett. Back in April, my mom, who is 97 years old, She's two months short of being 98, and she's sitting at the table back there. She got a letter. She got a letter from Lady Kate telling us that my mom was not sick enough, or that she did not meet the criteria to get Medicaid services at the age of 97 years old. It took me uh, for three weeks, three weeks, calling every every department of the state that I could and talking probably about 10 different people. In three weeks, I would end up where I started, where I was very, very frustrated. I finally said, you know what? I'm gonna call Congressman Doggett's office. I've had enough of this. So I called Congressman Doggett's office. That was on a Wednesday. By Friday at one o'clock in the afternoon, I got a call from Health and Human Services. I got a call from her HMO. I got a call from every single department that I had contacted, and they said, Mr. Limon, your mom's services are starting as of right now. She is back on Medicaid. That is the kind of service, and that is the service that we, I don't care what color we are, that is a service that we cannot afford to lose. With the contacts that we have at our congressman's office, like Congressman Doggett. Thank you very much. <laughs> 